YouTube, it's Jonathan, and today I'm doing a chatty get ready with me kind of video. I was getting ready for my day. This is my day off this week, so I'm just running errands and living my daily life. So I thought I would show you how I get ready pretty much every single day in the winter. When I'm not working or filming a special kind of video, I normally don't wear much makeup at all. You all know I love that no makeup makeup kind of trend. And in the winter, I'm all about injecting my skin with healthy moisture and not overloading it. So I've already prepped my skin with a bit of a facial oil, which is kind of new to me. I've only been using it for about a week. This is the Origins Plant Scription Youth Renewing Face Oil, and I just use three drops of this onto the palm of my hands, rub them together to spread it out, and then press it into my skin. And I do that right before my moisturizer, but it adds such glow to my skin without making me feel greasy or heavy. For my complexion, I'm skipping a foundation, BB cream, anything like that. I'm just going to use a bit of concealer, and this is actually a double into concealer and highlighter from It Cosmetics. This is their Eye Lift in a Tube, and I use the shade Neutral Medium. This is just a full coverage concealer that works really well under the eye. I also like to use it other places as well. So I'm going to take the concealer around the eye area, the nose area, and on any blemishes, and then I'm going to flip it over to the highlighting side and kind of swipe that anywhere that my skin needs a bit of radiance. And now that you look like you have crazy war paint on, I'm going to blend that in with a brush. This is a brand new brush to me. This is from the brand called Beauty Junkies. They sent me about five brushes to test out and review. So this will be my first impressions on the Beauty Junkies Flat Kabuki brush. And I'm just going to be using this to press all of that highlighter and um, concealer into the skin. And that's pretty much all the coverage I'm going to be giving my skin. Next, I'm going to be using a product I mentioned in my last monthly favorites. This is the BB Cream from Laura Geller in the shade Medium. I'm actually going to be using this as sort of a cream bronzer, so I'm going to just dispense a little bit of this onto the back of my hand. And this is just about a two shades darker than my normal skin tone, so it's just going to warm up my skin, and I'm going to use that same brush and see if I can get a good effect with that. I'm just going to work it into the bristles from the back of my hand, and start by pressing it onto my cheeks and around my hairline. For a little color for both lips and cheeks, I'm going to be using the Josie Marin Argan Infinity Lip and Cheek Creamy Oil. You'll notice a trend here. I'm putting a lot of cream and oil-based products onto my skin because my skin just needs it at this time of year, especially on the cheek area. I tend to get rather dry. And this is just a neutrally pink kind of color. You can see it here. Um, and I'm just going to use my fingertips to kind of pat it onto the cheeks and then put whatever's left over on my lips. And to add even more glow to my cheeks, I'm going to be using a little bit of liquid highlight. This is from Becca, and this is in the shade Pearl. It's one of their liquid shimmering skin perfectors, and I just have the travel size version. And I'm just going to swipe that on the back of my hand, and then use my middle finger again to apply that to the top of the cheekbones, and anywhere else on the face that I feel like needs a little bit of a highlight. And now that I am as glowy as a human being could possibly be, I'm going to entirely skip powder because my skin just doesn't want it in the winter time. For lashes, I'm just going to give them a curl. I'm not going to be applying any product to them. Um, I just want to kind of leave them as natural as possible, but just lift them a little bit. And now all we've got left is brows. I'm going to be using first a gel and then a pencil. For gel, I'm going to start with my Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel in Caramel. You've seen me use this a million times if you've been here for a while. And I'm just going to be kind of brushing the brows up. I just want to keep them as natural as possible. I don't want them to look perfect or stru too structured. I just want to see as much hair and fluffiness as entirely possible. And if you're comfortable with your brows here, you could definitely leave them there, but for me, I feel like I need a little bit more definition, especially around the arch and some of the gappier areas in this brow. And for that, I'm using my IT Cosmetics Brow Power Super Skinny in the shade Universal Blonde, which you've heard me talk about in a couple videos recently. And I am just going to, as minimally as possible, just hit that in those gaps, especially underneath where I need a little bit more help and then kind of fill out this arch using short flicking kind of firm pressure because I really want this to look as, again, as natural and kind of fluffy as possible. And then just kind of brushing those hairs back up before the gel dries completely. And that is pretty much it. This is how I've been wearing my makeup pretty much day to day for the last couple weeks, especially on the colder days when my skin really needs that extra moisture, that extra protection. So I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below if there's any looks that you want to see coming up. I know I have a few ideas for Valentine's Day, but if there's anything specific you want to see, I'd love to see that in the comments. While you're down there, go ahead and make sure you open up my description box because I have a link to every single product that I talked about today down there. So you can go ahead and look at those and shop for them if you are interested in them. And you can also check out my social media down there as well. You can check me out on Facebook. You can also check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All of those are at John John Talks. And click on my face now if you're not already subscribed to my channel so that you can be here every Monday and Thursday for all of my new videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye!
So more recently, I was going through my makeup collection, kind of getting rid of a few things that I don't use or that are expired or that just don't work for me. And I picked this up and I